Welcome to Cal Paris Hall, formerly known as 65. A little bit of a hot take, I think it's the nicest dorm on campus. This dorm is mostly upperclassmen, but the second floor is all freshmen and then their junior advisor. Now, this is our lounge area. So you can see there's a lot of recreational activities here, a nice flat screen TV, and all of this beautiful, beautiful area to study. We have an electric fireplace, and our laundry facilities are up here as well. As you can see, there's an abundance of them. It's pretty cool. Now, I'm not gonna show you the inside of the bathrooms because it's kind of creepy, but I will show you our kitchen. The school supplies us with pots and pans. We just need to get the ingredients and have free range. Also, we have to clean up after ourselves, which some people neglect to do, but it's whatever. And now, in addition to the open study spaces, each floor has at least two private study rooms where you can hold conferences and do group projects that might distract other students. And it's just a great space. Each has their own whiteboard or chalkboard. Speaking of chalkboards, this is my chalkboard in mi casa. As you can see, love to express ourselves. Everyone's free to write on them, as long as it's nothing inappropriate, of course. Now, welcome to the average Bates College Chew Hall and Cal Paris double. Each double is equipped with a desk, a bed, a drawer, and more drawers for each student. And I'd say definitely be ready to express yourself on your walls because it is a little bit maddening when you first walk in. There's it's just straight white walls, but it can become a home pretty nicely. Um, I found my roommate through a series of different clubs, activities, and other shared interests, such as club soccer. And uh, we have a very similar taste in music, which I think is pretty, pretty interesting. Um, but that's pretty much it our dorm room. It's really nice.